Welcome to Laptop Media. Before us today we have an exclusive, the Lenovo Legion Y520. For the first time ever the 15 inch version will sell for a significantly lower price than before and more importantly the Legion Y520 offers an IPS panel opposed to Dell's and Acer's similarly priced gaming solutions. The Legion Y520 will start selling for about $900 and will probably turn out to be the best value gaming laptop for now. The notebook is still not available but will show up in the link in the description below with most of the available configurations. With the price point going down, we expected the Legion Y520 to feature a different material for the shell. We weren't wrong. The previous three generations of the notebook had brushed aluminum lead and bottom piece but now it's all plastic, imitating carbon fiber, making it grippy. The bottom piece also uses the same plastic finish as the lid, retaining the rigidness and inheriting the big vent opening for extra airflow at the bottom. Probably the most notable and smart change is the new placement of the main exhaust vents. While last year's Y700's grills were positioned in front of the screen's hinge, with the latter blocking the hot air, now we have a more open design. The vents are placed on the back so the screen hinge doesn't obstruct normal airflow. Opening the laptop we see that the interior keeps the soft touch matte finish. The touchpad receives a total revamp. The area has significantly decreased but it's much better now. The surface seems to register every move, tap or gesture accurately and responsibly. We also think that the keyboard has been changed as well. There's a noticeably longer key travel and it's excellent for typing and gaming. As you can see the numpad area has been moved to make room for bigger arrow keys but this is a gaming laptop after all so the current layout will probably suit most gamers. The Lenovo Legion Y520 uses a 15.6 inch IPS panel. The viewing angles are excellent under 45 degree incline. We recorded the maximum brightness of 268 nits in the center of the screen and 261 nits as average across the surface, which means that it is optimal for indoor use but not as much for outdoor use. The average white balance of the screen turned out to be pretty close to the optimal at 6700 Kelvin. The maximum color difference that we were able to measure is 4.4 in the lower left corner. Since this display can be used for color sensitive work, it won't be an issue for most users but still, values above 4 are unwanted. We develop unique profiles tailored for each individual laptop and we will show you just how easy they could be purchased and used to enhance your viewing ability. We recommend you the profile so you would have a better usage of your laptop. Firstly, for working with Photoshop, CorelDRAW or just overall usage of the laptop, we'd recommend you the Officework web design profile that will maximize the Legion Y520's color accuracy. You can see main and additional colors inside the sRGB gamut pre and post calibration. The office work web design profile has been created with a target color temperature equal to 6500K, 140 nits luminance and a gamma set to 2.2. We tested the accuracy of the display with 24 commonly used colors. You can check out the results at factory condition and also with the office work web design profile. The next figure shows how well the display is able to reproduce really dark parts of an image, which is essential when watching movies or playing games in low ambient light. The left side of the image represents the display with stock settings while the right one is with our gaming and movie nights profile, which upon activation will make your gaming experience better. More information about the display profiles can be found in the description below. You can easily check for yourself how your display handles the darkest nuances. One of the most important things for proper gamers is the machine's screen response time. We recorded the fall time plus rise time of 15.1 milliseconds. Unfortunately the panel uses PWM for regulating screen brightness which is missing only at 100% brightness. But the good news is that the frequency of the emitted light is pretty high, 20.7 kHz. So only users with extra sensitive eyes will feel the negative impact. However, you can always use our health guard profile that will completely eliminate the screen flickering and will also reduce the harmful blue light emissions while keeping the colors of the screen perceptually accurate. If you are not familiar with the harm from blue light emissions, you can learn more about it in our specialized article that I will link in the top right corner of this video. The other two profiles will improve visibility while gaming and watching movies and enhance color accuracy. Again, the purchase link of all of our profiles can be found in the description of this video. The reviewed unit shipped with one 2.5 inch Seagate 1TB hard drive accompanied by a 512GB M2 SK Hynix PCIe NVMe SSD. The latter comes in a 2280 size. The motherboard supports two RAM slots and our Legion came with two 8GB Samsung DDR4 chips. In theory, the notebook should be able to support up to 32GB of RAM. 
Unfortunately, the pre-production unit of the Legion we received was not suitable for battery testing, but once we lay our hands on the final unit, we will feature the battery tests in the full article in the Laptop Media website. The Intel Core i7-7700HQ is the Kaby Lake successor of the super popular Core i7-6700HQ Skylake, used in almost any high-end notebook on the market right now. We compared Legion with other notebooks with the same CPU and you can check the full review and more information about this CPU in the Laptop Media website. Nvidia's GTX 1050 Ti for notebooks is almost identical to its desktop counterpart but offers different clock rates and uses more CUDA cores. This contributes to a significant performance boost over the standard version but the rest of the specs remain the same. The GPU offers 4GB of GDDR5 memory connected via 128-bit interface and transfer rates as high as 112GB per second. During the extensive temperature test the CPU started throttling down to 800 MHz every few seconds and then returning back to 3 GHz. This is clearly thermal throttling because the CPU's temperatures were cycling around 100 degrees Celsius. The last two models suffered from the same problem and in our opinion this time is not so severe. Interestingly enough, the GPU's temperatures were pretty low considering the nature of the tests at 74 degrees Celsius and was able to maintain maximum operating frequency of 1670 MHz. The good news is that the interior surface temperatures were pretty low compared to last year's IdeaPad Y700. The main reason for this is the moved heat dispersing grills at the back allowing a better airflow. As you can see on the heat map below, despite the higher inner temperatures, only the right side near the numpad area appears to be a bit warm. Nevertheless, we can't say it will cause any discomfort during gameplay. As a final summation, the new Legion Y520 shows great improvement in several key aspects compared to its predecessors. The weight has gone down thanks to the plastic construction, moreover the keyboard receives a revamp making it more suitable for gaming and adds media control buttons. Good words go for the touchpad as well. Probably the best key selling point of the Legion Y520 would be the included IPS panel. This alone probably makes the Y520 the best value laptop with GTX 1050 Ti currently on the market. Still there are some considerable drawbacks on the panel like narrow sRGB coverage, low contrast ratio, not enough maximum brightness and the use of PWM from 0 to 99% brightness, which our HealthGuard profile takes care of. But then again, it's way better than a TN display. All in all, the Legion Y520 represents a tremendous improvement in the Y-series laptops and considering the pricing of both the GTX 1050 and the GTX 1050 Ti models, we can say that it's the best value notebook of all similarly priced machines. Thank you for watching Laptop Media. We have many more reviews waiting for you in our channel. Also consider subscribing so you always be up to date with the latest laptops, desktops, VR technologies, phone and everything our technological future will provide us. For more information about this model and many more, visit laptopmedia.com.